Ariel, as a child, much like as an adult, was all over the place. Having been born in Germany and moving all over the states, her heart was left in a lot of places. On a summer trip with her family in 2010, she found a new place to leave her heart. That place was Phoenix, Arizona. Looking out of the car window as we drove down the road, Ariel exclaimed, I'm going to live here one day. And though she didn't know it back then, God would soon lead her to return. John, having been born in Phoenix and lived here for years, hated it. <laughs> As a kid, he vowed never to return to the valley and moved up north to Prescott. After changed plans and a bad breakup, John reluctantly packed his new car and decided to move to Phoenix in 2018 where his brother lives. With a new job, a new apartment, he wasn't sure what God had planned for him, but he knew it was going to happen in the city of Phoenix. After years of bouncing around between the states and overseas, Ariel was done. The thrill of traveling to new places and meeting new people was long gone, and all she wanted to find was a place called home. She hated Pennsylvania, and with mom begging her to stay stateside, she decided to move to Phoenix because she was already planning on going there for an ultimate frisbee tournament. Having gone on several pair walks, she decided that God would establish her steps and make it abundantly clear that this is where he wanted her to be. Oh, look at you. Oh my goodness. Isn't it fabulous? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> while while vows are made for the two of us, this one your mom will appreciate. I vow to do the laundry because I know you hate it. <laughs> I vow to take showers second because I know you don't like being in cold water. <laughs> <laughs> and now on the more serious stuff, because I know you asked me to make you cry. <laughs> I vow to lay my life down and protect you should the need ever arise. I vow to do my best to serve and honor the Lord and through Him lead our family in righteousness. I promise you that I'll give you my time and my patience as we make difficult decisions together. I vow to be a husband who provides, protects, and loves you every day. I promise to choose you and pursue you with an act of love, a relentless love. Through hard times we'll grow and through good times we'll thrive. Through it all I promise to lean on you and make you proud to be my wife. I vow to be the man God made me to be and thankfully you chose me to be your husband. I love you. <laughs> Don't make me. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> God allowed John to meet a young married couple during a worship service whom seemed to be so madly in love. From spending time with them and growing with them, John promised himself he wouldn't settle for anything less than the wife God had planned for him. He went on a guy's trip to Sedona where they prayed over him that God would bring the most perfect woman to him. Little did he know that God was going to answer that prayer later on that very day. When he got home from Sedona, confused, he responded to the stranger he'd find out later was Ariel who asked, I saw that you go to church on your bio, where are you going tomorrow and can I come with you? Freaking out, <laughs> John told her Redemption Tempe, the very church that Ariel had already planned on going that next day. God always had plans for them to meet by what seemed like the most coincidental situation possible. God prepared John and Ariel's heart for this moment and the two of them meeting was inevitable as it seems. Their love can remind us all of God's love for us. He truly does care about the details. Leonard, dear John, when I was younger, I had a list of the must-haves in a future spouse. Determined, love God um, more than anything. Someone who could cut my steak and do my laundry. <laughs> <laughs> funny, the list goes on. And though God didn't bless me with the funny characteristic in the man I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool to see how God knew exactly what I needed and hand plucked you to fulfill that role. Whenever we're together, I feel loved and empowered to be the woman God created me to be. And may a day never go by that I'm not in awe of the blessing that you are. On the hard days, I vow to figure them out with you. When we're making big decisions, I vow to defer to the direction God is leading you 
because I'm confident you already have asked them. On our adventures, I've had to not almost kill you again, <laughs> like I did at the Grand Canyon. <laughs> and on our relaxing days, I've had to make you watch Married at First Sight with me because I know deep down you love it. <laughs> I've had to be more sensitive to your needs and desires and will always try my best to meet them. I vow to keep your life exciting by dragging you on new adventures and sketchy places. <laughs> I vow to build you up and always stand by your side, no matter what life throws at us. My happily ever after started to come together when we sat together at church, and I'm so stoked to finish my days on this planet with you. You are the guy I've been waiting for, <laughs> and you are worth the wait. I'll like you forever, and I'll love you for always. <laughs> You got me. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs>
August 4th, Ariel was born, and I'm holding my baby girl, and I'm like, and I'm bawling, and I can't, I can't figure out why I'm crying, but I'm holding my daughter, and then it dawns on me, I have no clue on what it is I'm supposed to do as a dad. But I'm still looking at, at, at my daughter and I'm like, God, thank you because I know that she is going to be somebody special for you and only for you because it's what you do. And that union for those two of you all coming together is something that was absolutely positively created in heaven. Because when Ariel was just a senior in high school and talking about going to Phoenix, I was like, yeah, right, it's too hot. You ain't coming here. That's not going to happen. But little did all of us know that God had a perfect plan already in place, and she fulfilled it on this day. So, baby girl, I love you. I love you guys. So to Ariel and John. It's a new beginning. Yeah, this is just a start. We won't forget this feeling. We wait for the best part. Forever, but I think the future looks bright.